Hi all, welcome to Fancy Keyland. Now we are going to see uh, what is the data center over here. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So linear regression, it is nothing but the particular linear equation, whatever we are following in our algebra. So it can be commonly said as, yeah, shows that relationship between two variables. So the equation is y equal to mx plus c. That particular equation only here also we will be using. But as we are importing all the packages, uh, here we won't be able to see. So therefore, once whenever we go for this kind of uh, equations, uh, from that scikit-learn itself, we will be importing that linear regression. So from that particular linear regression, here we will be having two different sets. And based on that, here we will be able to uh, predict what will be that kind of future. So for that particular thing only, we will be using the linear regression. By using this linear regression, uh, it is not possible to classify any of the data. Only the regression, it is the purpose of providing the prediction only. Okay, so this kind of sections here, I have provided the simple linear regression. And therefore, from this particular simple linear regression, there will be having two continuous variables like y equal to mx plus c. And from that x and c, uh, that particular data will be there. And therefore, m will be known as the constant one. From that particular constant, here we will be uploading the CSV file and therefore all the data will be reading. Here we will be doing some of the functions in order to split the data set into two. What the two parts means, one is the train and another is test for training data as well as tested data. So therefore that particular uh, tested data means here we have to uh, approach in the way of using train test split. So therefore that particular train test split, the data will be converted automatically it will be separated. So from the separated data only, here we will be able to get the input as well as the output sections. And how that particular data has been increased or decreased. This particular way here we will be able to note with the help of the visualization using the C bond or using the particular uh, matplotlib. Okay, so now let us see that output with the code. So here I am just logging to collab. Okay, so here I am selecting the linear regression. Yeah, so here I have opened that particular linear regression file. So same like whatever we are seeing, the same functionally here we are going to do. So here we are importing all our uh, required packages like pandas, numpy, matplotlib and uh, cborn. So by using pandas, here we will be reading the CSV data. So here I have that particular CSV file that should be uploaded over here. First, uh, let us connect our collab towards the network. Yeah, therefore it has been connected. I'm going to the respective folder and selecting the data set. Yeah, okay. So here, now I have uploaded the data set. The data set contains only the salary data. I'll just open and show. Yeah, only this data is available over here. Years, experience and salary. So here I have some, okay. So these are the total amount of data set available. Now within that, uh, here it is very difficult to explain it in the form of formula because all the formulas are pre-trained over here and according to that only, the package and its name also has been applied. So here, uh, just once we start, first we have to import the package, then we have to import the data set and therefore here we will be connecting our data head in order to print it. So to know how much data, yeah, so totally 30 data are available and that uh, 30 data here we are splitting into two like uh, x axis and y axis. So that particular x axis will be taken as vertical, y values will be taken as horizontal from the Excel sheet, not Excel sheet, CSV file. Okay, so now I am printing that values. Okay, here we are going to create two different models train underscore test underscore split. So the data will be splitted into train as well as test data and therefore the linear regression. So this is that particular algorithm here we are going to use from sklearn.model underscore selection uh, linear underscore model. So these two are that uh, particular files available in sklearn. From that we are taking this particular uh, functions. Okay, so now here I am importing those functions. So in that functions I am providing four input parameters like x train, x test, y train, y test. So by providing this four parameters here, I'm calling the function train to split. What and all the values here we will be taking means 
x comma y so these two values only here we are going to split into these four variables and therefore test size will be 0.3 so that is a standard one if you want to increase the size means you can increase no issues and the random state also you can provide any data what is a random state means to uh, categorize the data randomly for that particular purpose only here we will be using random state and after that particular uh, splitting here we will be calling our linear regression so from that particular linear regression uh, this complete linear regression formula or the function it will be stored into a variable so according to this here we will be fitting the model so this model will be fitted and therefore x underscore train and y underscore train to train the data so after training that particular data will be plotted okay so therefore this will be that particular uh, salary expected inside the train i mean the training data set so the same thing if we go for the tested one means we will be able to get the exact answer so only these many values would be varied because rest all it is correct only only some points only the variation will be there that's why it is getting predicted so at some places it should be low and at some places it should be high this is the actual data whatever we have been provided so after that to calculate that particular uh, accuracy here we will be importing the matrix so now we are calculating for the input terms of x test and therefore the accuracy is for 61 percentage accuracy is calculated by using rmsc does anybody have idea what is rmsc okay there are two ideas over here mean squared error yes root mean squared error that is the exact answer so by using that particular root mean squared error only here we will be able to calculate how much it was accurate okay so from that section only here we will be able to create this kind of functions you kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel